The immortal pen of James Fenimore Cooper brings you thrilling tales of excitement. Blazing action on the early American frontier. Stirring adventures filled with the daring and courage of Hawkeye, first of the long rifles, and his blood brother, Chingachgook, last of the Mohicans. is too quiet. Birds and animals, listen. Hey, you're right. We'd better stay off the trail. Too many shots for hunters. Sounds like trouble. Now, there's nothing to worry about. With a, a little more patience, the supply should be here any time now. Sure. Unless the thieves have been tipped off again, then what do we do for supplies? They'll get through. Besides, though, those two barrels of flour I had Tim divide amongst you this morning, that should hold you for a while. <laughs> Tim? Look behind you, Will. Seems your overgrown brother-in-law has forgotten again. Two barrels of flour ain't gonna keep this settlement alive for the winter. We need a lot more, Will. A lot more. I'm doing my best, Sam. Everything's gonna be all right. Where, where'd you find them? Arrow Lake. They were ambushed. What about the supplies? Where are they? Supplies? No supplies. Some of you men help them upstairs. You bring us bad tidings, mister. That's the second supply shipment that's been ambushed. Who might you be? Folks call me Hawkeye. This is Chingachgook. You know a new settlement like ours can't last the coming winter without help from the outside? Now, look, just a minute. Yeah, that's right, Sam. None of you folks will get through your first winter without help. Now, folks, I don't want to get your hopes up, but there's another shipment of supplies on its way. It left at the same time as the one that was hit today, but it's traveling by a longer and different route. Say, Will, this new route you're talking about, them supplies wouldn't happen to be coming down the Twin Forks River, would they? What gave you that idea, Sam? Your brother-in-law, Tim. Tim again. Is that it, Will? Twin Forks the way the supplies is coming? I'm not saying, Jack. Too many people knew about that last shipment. I don't want what happened to it happening to them. He seems a mite upset. He has good reason to be, mister. You see, he's been elected leader of this community. Well, here we got winter coming on and he can't get any supplies through. I reckon you'd be a bit upset, too. Mm, I reckon I would. Mm -hmm. You fellas figuring on settling in these parts? Oh, but we need a few supplies ourselves. We'll probably stick around until that next shipment gets here. Oh, yeah. Well, good luck to you. Thank you. Sound like settlement in trouble. Yeah, it seems that way. Well, what we do? Stay? Help? Well, I can't recall that we're in any particular hurry to get anywhere else. And then the prince. He took a hold of those iron bars in the old witch's prison, and with all his might, he, he, he 
bent those iron bars open. And he escaped into the night to rescue the fair princess. And then... Kim! It's past your supper time. Your folks are looking for you. Now get. Come on, get. Tim. I've told you. I've told you time and time again to keep your mouth shut about those supply routes. Well, well, gosh, well, sh sure you did. And, 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 and I've been doing like you said, too. I ain't told nobody. No, you ain't told nobody. You just told Sam, that's who. But, but gosh, Will, I, I didn't think... Well, that's the trouble with you. You never think. Well, if nothing else can help you remember to keep quiet, maybe this will. Jack, heard from Red Knife yet? No. When you do, tell him about that twin fork shipment. Might as well pick off that ripe plum, too. Someone's going to put two and two together, Seth, and find out you're behind all this. What are you going to do then? Don't worry. I don't think of somebody else they can put the blame on. This whole town's counting on me. I've got the lives of every man, woman, and child in my hands, and I need help. Your help. And what do I get? Nothing. Don't do that, Will. I said stop it, Will. I said stop it. I said stop it. Uh, Tim! Uh. Jim! Will! Will! You all right, Will? You shouldn't have shut them so hard, Tim. He's dead, Tim. You killed him. No! No, no, I didn't. Let go of me, Tim. Let go! The way people are on edge around here these days, they might do anything about this. They might even hang you. But, but I didn't mean to. No, I know. But people don't stop to think at a time like this. Now, look, you better get out of the settlement as fast as you can. But, but wh wh where am I going to go? Well, I... Look, I'll help you. Go down and get Jack the blacksmith and bring him back here. I'll get him to take you up to a little camp at Deer Lake where you can hide out for a spell. But, but I... Uh... I don't oh, get I going, Tim. No. Get going. I'll take care of everything. At first, I couldn't believe what I saw. There was Tim hitting Will again and again. Well, if I hadn't come by, he might have killed him. What do you think of it, Seth? Well, I hate to say it, but... After seeing Tim hightail it into the forest, and after hearing what he said to Will, while Will was lying unconscious... What was he saying? Oh, something about... He was tired taking an orders from Will. Wasn't going to be pushed around by him anymore. And something about uh, he found a way to get rich. Oh, yeah. He said he didn't care what happened to the folks in this community now that winter was coming on. Sad, certainly. You figure he might be connected with the men who are ambushing our supplies? Well, we know somebody's tipping off these thieves. And who knows more about these roots than Will's own brother-in-law? Just don't seem like Tim. Maybe he ain't too smart. But to do something like this... Well, it's the way I see it. Anybody got any better answers? What you think, Hawkeye? That man Seth's sure right about one thing. Someone's telling the thieves which way the supplies are coming. But whole settlement know that supplies are coming down Twin Forks River. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Looks strong as two bulls. What am I supposed to do with him? Take him on the next raid with you. Make sure he's recognized. That'll back up Seth's story. Then while everyone's out looking for him, we'll be out of the country with the supplies. Supply boat leave Kingsburg one day. Go through Bird Lake now. If we move fast, we can catch him on the lake this afternoon. I'll take the word to Seth.
There's the supplies, all right. Maybe we too late. Maybe not if we hurry. Supplies. No, I don't think they've seen us. We'll track them around the lake, and we'll get them when they land. Look, stranger, give us the supplies and we'll let you go free. Seems to me the shoe's on the other foot. We're seven to your one. There's more than one. We know every foot of this territory. You and your men don't stand a chance of getting away from us. Maybe we don't have to. What do you mean? Maybe all you're interested in is supplies like these. Maybe you're interested in something real big. What have you got in mind that's real big? The Army supplies to Fort Union. The job's a little too big for us. But we know the exact time and route they take. All we need are a few more men. Look, I'm not the leader. But if what you say is true, he just might give you a deal. Why don't you take us to him? Let him decide. Sure. It's all right. Come on down. Not bad. All right, men, load up. Follow us. Tim's taken care of, Seth. Leading him around like a bull with a ring in his nose. It ain't gonna be no trouble. That's right. So long as Hawkeye and his Indian friend don't find him. Meaning what? Some of the folks around here tell me those two have quite a reputation in the capital. For helping out the law in the territories. What are you going to do? You're going back to Wolf, and you're going to alert him about those two. Tell him if he spots them, he can do whatever he likes. They're dangerous. I thought we were going to meet your leader. How much longer are we going to have to wait around here? He should be here sometime today. Who's the big fella? He is big, ain't he? Killed his own brother-in-law with his bare hands. Sounds like a good man to have on our side. We think he's going to turn out real good. You thinking of going somewhere? Oh, I'm getting tired of sitting around here. My friend and I are going out and see if we can hunt up something for dinner. There's two ways this leader could be coming from town. This trail or by water up Twin Forks River. 
trail is long, water quicker. Traveling by water, he can be spotted more easily. Might make more sense if he came by the trail. What's you, Seth? Come on in. Hello, Mary. Just going out on a hunting trip. Thought I'd drop by and see how Will's doing. Take a look for yourself. Why, Will, what on earth are you doing? Going out. Please, try and reason with him, Seth. He's not in any condition to go out into the forest. Forest? That's right. Things are getting out of hand here, Seth. Two of my men just came in and said they'd been waylaid by Hawkeye and his Indian friend. They took our supplies. Hawkeye and the Indian have taken your... Well, that don't make sense. Well, that's what I figured, too. My men don't lie to me. Yeah, but you can't go out into the forest after him in your condition, Will. Will, there's nothing that important. Oh, look, Mary, there's no argument. It's the only thing I can do. I'm responsible for this community. It's up to me to see that they survive this winter. I know how much this means to you, Will, but if Hawkeye and the Indian have taken your last shipment of supplies, that's just it. They haven't. See, when the whole town knew they were coming down Twin Forks River, I was afraid something like this might happen. So I sent Sam to Kingsburg for another load. I'm going out to meet him now to make sure they get here safe. But, Will, can't Mary, you Mary, it's no use. I'm going. Oh, Seth, please do something to help him. I'm worried sick. I'm going to help him, too, Mary. He can't handle this thing by himself. But first of all, I've got to know where he's heading. All I know is Sam is coming back through the Elk Basin country. Elk Basin, eh? Don't you worry, Mary. I'll take care of everything. <laughs> Too nice a day to be in that much of a hurry, friend. You better rest a minute. What is this? Why are you? Hey, you're Hawkeye and Chingachgook, ain't you? And will you remember me? This man from settlement. That's right, Jack the Blacksmith. Guess maybe you kind of mistook me for a while. No. Just wondered what a blacksmith was doing out here in such a hurry. You better rest a minute. Just tracking a deer I got a shot at a while back. He's out hunting today. On this trail, and almost a dead run. Well, just... Me think this man speak with false tongue. Maybe he is one who steals food from settlers' mouths. Don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> what are you doing? You know, Chingachgook has such a natural dislike for lions. Doesn't seem to matter what he has to do to get the truth out of a man. You ready to talk now? No. No. Tommy, it's Zeth. Zeth James. He's the leader. He's the man you want. Tie him up. Looking for someone, Hawkeye? Reckon you're kind of surprised to see me here, eh? I wasn't expecting you, I'll admit that. You must have come by way of the river. It's the fastest way when a man's in a hurry. Tie him up, too. We'll leave him to the animals. We're moving out. Nothing. 
Simple enough, Tim. You didn't kill Will. Seth lied to you. But why? What's he trying to do? He wanted you to be blamed for what he's been doing. Stealing the settler's supplies. So, he wasn't being my friend. He's been a lion to me, blaming me. I'm gonna get that man. Did Seth say anything about what they were going to do before we got back to camp? Yeah, yeah, he, he said something about uh, ambushing the shipment over to, to help Basin. Uh, yeah, yeah, help Basin, that's what it was. There they go. come too late. Unless there's some way to stop them. Someone come. Will! Tim! Will! Am I glad to see you? Tim! Stop it! Let go! There's no time for that now, Will. There's the men you're after with Seth James leading them. Seth, you're lying. There's no time to argue about it. We'll prove it to you later. But I, I thought that you and Tim were trying to... You know this territory pretty well, don't you? Like the back of my hand. If you were going to ambush those supplies, where would you do it? Well, that's easy. The Narrows make a perfect spot. Where's that? About four or five miles away by water. But it's only a mile and a half or so away over this neck of land. Well, what are you figuring on doing? Come on, I'll explain to you on the way. We'll never get through there. Looks like a trap. Yeah, you're right. Come on, boys, we'll head for the shore. We'll hide the supplies and go the rest of the way on foot. and get the rest of it. That won't be necessary, Seth. You drop rifle. You lied to me. No. No, Tim, no. Well, I'll take care of him. Now pick up those supplies and we'll take them to the settlement where they belong. Go on. Pick them up. Good winter for everybody in settlement, but them. Join us again at this same time next week for another of James Fenimore Cooper's gripping tales of the early American frontier. Another exciting adventure of Hawkeye and his blood brother, Chingachgook, last of the Mohicans. <laughs> <laughs>